guys, it's Bella and welcome to my second instalment of Foundation on a Friday. Now, the one that I've picked this week is one of my favourites. If not my favourite at the current at the moment, I'm really liking it. It's also one that a couple of you asked me to see, so I've put that one in for today. And it's the last new finish, Rimmel Last New Finish 24 Hour, but it's the breathable version. So I think we're all familiar, aren't we, with the last infinished, uh, the last infinished 24 hours. It's been out for quite some time. Very popular foundation, but this is the breathable version. I personally prefer this, especially in the summer. It's a lighter weight. It is buildable. It's got a good coverage. It's not as heavy for me as, at all as the 24 hour, which is a wonderful foundation and I do love it in the winter. But as I've said to you before, I do prefer something slightly lighter in the summer and this works for me really well. So, last to finish, breathable foundation by Rimmel and my colour is Cool Beige. And I'll show you how to do it. Okay guys, so let's start and see what we think of this one. Now, have you look at my skin as it is now without anything on? I've got my skincare on and I've got my sunscreen and so forth on, but I have got no primer and no concealer because I wanted I wanted to give every foundation that I show you a fair shot so that you can see it in the same way. Um so this is just skincare. Just wanted you to see my skin as it is before I start so you can see any discoloration or texture issues so you know what we've got to deal with now if you've seen other videos you know I love this foundation and I truly do it's a beautiful finish and I am really really pleased with it the one thing I don't like about it and it's something I don't like about so many foundations now is it's got this big doe foot applicator now I a doe, don't get me wrong a doe foot is easy to apply which you'll see me do now I'll show you what I do I go on my troubled areas first as I said we're not using a concealer today so we'll just put this over our faces as I would with a if I was using the brush Or dot it if I was using them, um, you know, one with a pump, I would put it onto the back of my hand. Okay, so we'll try it with that first. Let's see how that goes. Damp Beauty Blender. Now, it is easy, you can see it's easy to get on with a dough foot, but I just worry about how sterilised that is to keep doing that. So, what I do is every time that I use it I you know how you would clean your makeup brushes well I clean the doe foot um, it works that way for me but you can see every time I use it I saw every two or three times I use it and I use it on a daily basis so we're talking two or three days just going to get my mirror. It's lighter. It's much lighter than the original Rimmel 24 Hour. Although I do like that too. But this is a lighter coverage. I wouldn't necessarily say lighter in actually how it covers. But in the consistency, it feels lighter. So we'll carry on around with that, not forgetting to go down the neck. Yeah, so now I'm not very keen on the doe foot idea. Um, I do like it for application, but it concerns me a little bit with it being clean now 
You've got to remember when you put your foundation on, you're putting it on a completely clean face. Your face is cleansed before you put anything on it. So this is going on a clean face. I'm just going in with a second coat, guys, which I don't always do. But I do it in the second coat, I'll go over the eyelids. Into the corner there, because I don't want to put a concealer on. As I said, I want to show you as it is. You have to go in a couple of times when you use a doe foot because it doesn't hold as much as if you were going to pump. That one. So every two or three times, I would just wash the doe foot as I would wash an um, a foundation brush. Or any of my makeup brushes. I would just wash it exactly the same. But when you wash it, there's still a little bit on the brush. You can't get it all off by wiping. You have to obviously wipe the last of the little bit off on some kitchen towel, which is what I do. So you can get a little bit of waste like that. But, or you can use it. The last time you use it before you're going to wash it, you can take it off from the doe foot, use it from the doe foot. So you could wipe it's down the doe foot. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So that's just one way of getting the most of it. But you do waste a little bit. But you do use in a beauty blender anyway. But um, I would rather that than chance anything that's not completely hygienic on my face. So... Go in with the beauty bender and then that corner because I haven't put any eye concealer on. So we're going in there. I've not put anything on under my eyes. I always take my time, probably more time on my foundation than anything really, unless I'm doing quite a big eye look, but I think the base is so important, guys. Okay, I don't think we need any more of that. Around the hairline, make sure everything's as it should be. Now... Take another look at my skin, see what you think. You see, it's a very light coverage. It's not heavy, but I like this for the summer. I prefer this lighter look. Let's go and put the rest of my makeup on and see what we can do with it. Okay, guys. So, I like that foundation. I think that's a nice look. I think it does well. I think it covers well. Obviously, I've got the rest of my makeup on now. Um, but as a base, it's nice. And I always think the base is important. Well, we all do, really, don't we? And I think that's quite a nice base. I'm quite pleased with that. So, hope you enjoyed that, guys, as always. We'll go on to another foundation in my next instalment. Um, I want to go through the few of them for you, you know, and show you the different types and, and what we think looks best. So we'll go through mineral foundations, stick foundations, uh, different types, what we think. So um, we'll see what we're going to do next time. And if there's anything, high street, uh, high street drugstore ranges that you'd like me to try, please tell me. And I'll do my best to try that for you. So another week is over. Quite warm here in the UK, I've got to tell you that for a change, we won't mention it too long, it may go. I don't like it too hot though, I don't like it very, very hot. Um, and sometimes it can be kind of, it's, 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 because we don't have air conditioning here, not as a standard in houses. Um, so it's, yeah, it can be really sticky. But it's not been too bad this week, so you have a lovely uh, weekend. Hope you're going to have a nice time and a nice relaxing time, which most of us enjoy over the weekend, don't we? 
So you take care of yourselves and I'll see you again on Tuesday. And thanks for being here, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.